So if you had to guess, what would you say is the most overlooked element of a release pipeline? Well, maybe the title gave this away, but in my opinion, the answer is permissions or access controls. When you consider how critical releasing your software is, going from code all the way out into production, I mean, there are so many steps along the way that if they're skipped, you could have a disaster in your hands. There might be malicious code being put in, so you really don't want to skip any of these steps. But if we consider this release pipeline here, you know, I've got these exit gates on my release readiness stage. I've got code coverage that's actually pulling information from Sonar Cube. Let's suppose that I'm a bad actor or just a lazy actor. I know that my code coverage is not going to pass this check of being greater than 75%. And so what I could do instead of fixing my code is just coming in here and simply deleting it. And there we go. Now I don't need to worry about my code quality. Okay, so obviously that's not really what we want to have happen. Now I'm switched over to a release engineer and I'm gonna try to control this before any more damage occurs. So if I come to no critical violations, I can go to this action menu, go to access controls, and here you can see there's these privileges on this object, no critical violations. We also have 150 inherited privileges. So that's one of the key elements of the access control lists in CloudB CDRO, is the fact that it's not just on the object itself, but it actually inherits from the full hierarchy. In this case, we've got this particular gate, which is the exit gate. We've got the release readiness stage. We've got the pipeline itself. We've got the release that goes over the pipeline. Then we've got the project that it lives inside of. And we also have the system itself. So there are a lot of levels here that we could inherit from. And in fact, we are. Right now, everybody gets full access to everything, which clearly is not working well as the developer could just delete whatever they wanted. So what I'm gonna do is set up a new privilege. So they're able to read it, they're able to execute it, but they can't modify it, which means change it or delete it. And they can't change permissions such that they can then go and modify it. So this looks good. And now as the developer, when I try to delete the no critical violations, we're gonna see very quickly that I'm not able to. Here we go. Principal A developer does not have modify privilege on stage release readiness. So that's great. We've solved the problem for this release, but Chances are I'm gonna have more releases. I'm gonna do the same thing over and over again. And I don't wanna to have to manually come and do this every single time. Because as we saw before, before I caught it, it was very easy for someone to just come and wipe everything. So what we can do is, you know, everything behind the scenes with CloudB CDRO is able to export as DSL. So we've got the DSL editor. We've also got the ability to come in here and do a DSL export. And when you do this, we have the option to include the ACLs or the access controls or we can choose without. So if we want it to be more generic and reusable everywhere, we can remove the ACLs. But if we want it to be this exact setup where we know that certain groups are able to access certain things and others aren't, we can include them. Now, that's pretty useful that we can do it on an individual task. What about the whole stage itself? Well, we've got access controls there. We've also got access controls on the entire release itself. If we come to our projects, each project also has its own access controls. Environments, you guessed it, access controls. Applications, they've also got access controls on both the whole tier level, on the component, and on the individual processes themselves. Resources have access controls. Yep, even plugins have access controls. I keep going on, but I think you get the idea. Basically everything inside of CloudB CDRO has access control lists. And this means that you can set up permissions exactly the way that you need regardless of what your organization looks like. I hope this has been useful. Now, if you're interested in learning more about CloudBees CDRO, please come check us out at cloudbees.com, and I'll have some links down below for documentation on all of the access control.